Hey everyone, welcome back to Blink Hub XYZ, where we bring you quick and engaging summaries of classic literature. Today, we're diving into William Faulkner's masterpiece, Ye As I Lay Dying. Ye As I Lay Dying is a 1930 novel by American author William Faulkner. It's a prime example of Southern Gothic literature and is known for its innovative narrative style. The story follows the Bundren family on a harrowing journey to fulfill the dying wish of their matriarch, Addie Bundren. Addie wants to be buried in her hometown of Jefferson, Mississippi. The novel is told through 59 monologues by 15 different characters, giving us a kaleidoscopic view of their thoughts and emotions. Let's meet the main characters. Addie Bundren. The dying mother whose wish to be buried in Jefferson sets the plot in motion. Aunt Bundren. Addie's ineffectual husband, who is determined to honor her last wish, but often fails as a father and husband. Cash Bundren, the eldest son and a skilled carpenter who builds Addie's coffin with meticulous care. Darrell Bundren, the second son, introspective and perceptive, whose sanity unravels as the journey progresses. Jewel Bundren, the third son, fiercely devoted to his mother and revealed to be the product of Addie's affair. Dewey Del Bundren, the only daughter, who is secretly pregnant and desperately seeking an abortion. Vardaman Bundren, the youngest son who processes his mother's death in a childlike and surreal manner, famously declaring, Je my mother is a fish. The novel delves into several profound themes. Death and dying. Through Addie's death and the family's journey, we explore different attitudes towards mortality. Family dynamics. The Bundren family's complex relationships are laid bare as they struggle with their individual burdens. Isolation and alienation. Many characters feel isolated from each other and their community. Rural poverty. The Bundren's journey underscores the harsh realities of life for poor Southerners in the early 20th century. Sanity and insanity. Particularly through Darl's perspective, the novel examines the thin line between sanity and madness. Faulkner's narrative style is one of the most striking features of He As I Lay Dying. The use of multiple narrators and stream-of-consciousness techniques creates a fragmented and subjective narrative, challenging readers to piece together the story from different perspectives. Upon its release, He As I Lay Dying I was praised for its originality and depth. It remains a cornerstone of American literature, studied for its complex narrative techniques and rich thematic content. That's it for our quick dive into A As I Lay Dying A by William Faulkner. If you enjoyed this summary and want more literary insights, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications. Thanks for watching Blink Hub XYZ, your quick literary fix.